Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So they have just released the new Unit Possession update, which I have been really looking forward to. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be taking some of my favourite units and seeing how they work in Unit Possession. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for more awesome videos. Let's get into it. So... Our first unit we're going to use has to be the Mammoth. And we're going to put them up against loads of clubbers. So, how many should we do? Let's uh, let's just do 30 while we get the hang of it. And then we'll see how it goes from there. So to do unit possession, what you want to do is once you click start, zoom in on the unit you want to possess, press F and you'll get to take control. And then press C to change camera. So, if we do that quickly, we can zoom in on the Mammoth. Press F, and as you can see, it's put me into third person. If I press C, it goes into first person. Whoa, that, that's actually really weird. Okay, I don't like first person with the mammoth. That, that's very strange. But down the bottom, it's actually supposed to come up with the controls for the different attacks, which is the mouse buttons. And for some reason, it hasn't. But all you have to do is just click them, and you can find out what different attacks they could do. And as you can see, I just won as the Mammoth, and that was actually really cool. I didn't like it in first person with the Mammoth, though. You couldn't really see anything that was going on. But that was actually pretty cool. So, that was the Mammoth, destroying those, and that was actually very, very easy. But we're going to move on from the Mammoth. We're not going to spend too long on him. And then the next one that I have to test out... I was going to choose the Wheelbarrow, but I think what we're going to do is actually choose the wheelbarrow dragon which is if i can find it because i keep getting lost hold on what's that i've not seen that one before since when did we have a jester i i've never found the jester before they've have they put in some new units without having to find them i think they actually have We've got a few new units, and I didn't know. Okay, well, we're definitely going to have to test out some of those in this video. So, let's um, let's take the Jester and put him a bit further back, because we're going to take control of him and really test out what he does, because I've never seen him before. This is uh, completely new to me. So, let's click Start. Let's zoom in on him, and let's see what he can do. So, we can take control of him. There we go. It's come up with the different mouse buttons. So, what have we got? We've got a standard attack and then a different attack. And I just died. Okay, he's very weak. So, what we might have to do is reduce these down to just one. Just while we test him out. This is really strange. I did not know that they put in new units without having to find them. This has just changed everything. So, let's go see if we can kill him. Now, he does have range on us. Whoa! Well, I won that time. That's actually pretty cool. So, he does have different attacks. Okay. What was the next new one? This one. So, I guess we've got to find out what this one could do. Don't forget, guys. If there's any battles you want to see me do, then just put them down in the comments. And... We'll test them out, especially using this new... Oh, and I lost again. I am terrible at controlling these units. But yeah, put them down in the comments. I'll test them out and we'll see how it goes. But definitely make sure that I can do them in first person or third person with some of the units because this is awesome. Come on, mate. Come closer. Oh, this is very hard to aim and I am so going to die. Okay, that's actually really hard to use, that guy. Okay, I don't like him. Don't like that one. But the next one... Oh, hello. That's a new one as well. Oh, I like the look of that one. We're definitely using that one. That one looks awesome. So he just has the one attack by the look of it, which is left mouse button. And he just swings that. So I definitely have the range now. Whoa! Well... So now you can actually play baseball with them. <laughs> I like that guy. He's pretty cool. I mean, I don't like the fact that he only has one attack. But he's pretty cool. 
So uh, let's test out the next new one. I want to get to testing out the giants as well at some point. Whoa. Um, okay, I didn't tell it to do that. So we're going to have to start it, slow it right down, zoom in, grab it, and then we can go. So we can actually throw. Right, okay. So the two attacks are actually just throwing. So by the looks of it, he doesn't have a standard melee attack. So he's actually a ranged unit. But I really like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So he's a pretty he's a pretty decent unit. He's alright. But now we get to the one that I did want to test out. Which is obviously the Wheelbarrow Dragon. Because I don't know how crazy this is gonna be. And because he's gonna go sprinting straight away, we're gonna to have to slow it down. Then we can grab him. Whoa! Whoa! This is very awkward to control. I did not realise he went that fast. I, I thought I'd be controlling it with WASD, but you don't. You control him with the mouse. So, to test him out properly, let's put in a few more of these guys, because I didn't really get to test him that much. And we'll go again. So, we have slowed it down. We have taken control and I fell over. Okay, let's start that one again. Don't turn too sharply. That would help. And let's get facing the way we want to face so he doesn't turn too sharply. And let's go. This is awesome. And I fell over again. I fell over. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I can't attack now. Oh, I can. It just didn't come up with the buttons. And I lost. Okay. That's actually quite difficult to use. I thought that would be a bit more fun using that one. But he falls over way too easily. Right, so let's move on to a new unit. Now, what do we want to test out? I'm going to say we test out the Sensei. Because I want to see what his attacks really do. Whether he just has the one or not. So we're going to do that. We're going to zoom over to him. Press F. So no, he does have the two attacks. Oh, I see. So you can just keep clicking both. Right, so that's why he attacks so fast, because he's using both hands to throw them. Okay. Okay. I quite like that. You can throw them really fast with him. But we have to move on to a giant, which means we also need some more units to kill, because otherwise it's going to be over too fast, a bit like the mammoth. So we're going to put those in. Then we're going to take control of this guy. And he's actually quite slow at walking. I didn't realise that. But we're going to move in. And it's quite hard to actually aim with this guy. But once you do attack, that's actually quite cool. Oh, that's really hard to use. Should we try a bit of first person with him? Okay, that, that's quite cool. Boom. This is awesome. Look at him go. Oh, it's so hard to aim though. I might actually lose this one because I can't aim properly. He doesn't really walk. Where's the... Okay, we're going to have to come out of that. Right, there is still one left. And we can't actually get him. <laughs> this is so awkward. But so much fun. I think if you aim the wrong way, it doesn't seem to attack the floor. So, where is this guy? Come on. There he is. This is so hard to use. What was space? I didn't know that. Oh, I see. So, space does the flip. Right. Okay. I didn't realise that. So, if they're small, you can't use them. But if they go big, then you can. So, with this one, if it hurries up and recharges the space, you have to attack... Then you press space. And then you can flip. So we did actually end up winning that one. But that was very, very hard to use. That was very awkward. I'm not sure if I enjoyed that or not. This one I should enjoy though. Because it's the tree giant. And who doesn't love the tree giant? Look at him go with his tree. Just strolling along. Holding a tree. As you do. <laughs> Let's go out into third person. 
And let's attack. Oh, that is a damaging attack. I love that one. Boom. Oh, this is so much fun. Look at them go. Oh, we still got someone down by our feet. Oh, it's twitching out a little bit. There we go. We got a bit of an attack. Is it just that one left? Let's go first person while we take him on. No, it... Oh, we missed. As if we missed. No, come back. He's a lot faster than me. He's so much faster. No, stop running away. This is so hard to attack with these giants. They're so tall. And for some reason, it keeps attacking backwards. So it seems to attack up sometimes. Or backwards there. It's very hard to use this unit possession with these giants. It really is. And I cannot catch this guy. Come here. Stop running away. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press F and give it back to this guy because he can kill better than I can. So, thank you. But it was still quite fun using him. When there's the big group and you can actually attack the floor, he's actually awesome. So, we're moving on to the Ice Giant. Let's go. Let's do the Ice Giant. So, he has two attacks, which I'm guessing is just left arm, right arm. Yes, it is. They take a while to recharge. So, let's uh, give it a go. Oh, it's so damaging. I love these giants. Their attacks are so good. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Where's the last person? I can't... Oh, we've got another one running away. I'm hoping this isn't going to be a glitch. I mean, it seems like a glitch because they seem to do it every time you take control of a unit. But at least with the ice giant, I was actually able to attack him. That was pretty cool. I quite like the Ice Giant in unit possession. He's a lot easier to control than the other two Giants. But, now we have to test out Artemis. One of my all-time fav favourite units. Here we go. So, yeah, it's going to be just like the Samurai. Samurai? S sensei, I should say. Where you're just basically clicking both of them. It's so hard to aim, though. But at least you can counter that pushback that obviously... The AI controlled one gets. And that is just devastating. That one is so easy and smooth to use. It really is. That is so nice. It's just really easy. I like that one. I like Artemis. Artemis is quite cool to use. But we're going to move on to good old Zeus. Because, I mean, I. This is when they said they were going to be bringing out unit possession. This is like the one that I really wanted to do because of his attack. So, this is just, I'm guessing, going to be the same. Yes, it is. So, we can just keep attacking. And the attack is actually quite loud, which is quite annoying. But we can back up. There we go. That's one good thing about the unit possession is that you can actually back up away from them if they're coming up to you because obviously the computer doesn't now there seems to be a person missing i think it might be this guy because he's not laying down properly he seems to just be like having a little sunbathe oh it just fell over and i can't actually get him nope oh okay there's a guy over there there we go now we finally killed him. So that is a final strike. And that was awesome. That was so much fun. I like that. Zeus is, Zeus is cool. I like Zeus. So let's move to Dynasty. Because let's face it. I have to use the Firework Archer. I'm going to lose. But it should be quite fun still. So they do just have the one attack. But even though we're going to lose... Oh, it takes so long to recharge as well. Whoa, hello. People flying at me. I want to fire into the group. Oh, look at him go. I am so dead. I am so dead. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, no, no. I died. 
That is terrifying when you just got a big group of them charging at you and you can't attack. Oh, that is horrible. Okay, well, it's time to test out this guy then. The Huacha thing. Whoa, that is so... Okay, I'm going to have to go first person for this one. Whoa! Uh, at least I did quite a bit of damage, I think. And you can actually move it quite fast. It moves a lot faster than I thought it would. Can we not just ram people down? No, they just attack you straight away. But that is pretty cool. Now, is that all of my favourite units? I can't think of another one that I really... Oh, we have to try that, I suppose. But, since we're moving on to this one and trying it, we're also going to put in some cheerleaders. Because I want some extra added support with my attacks. Well, okay, get rid of first person. I do not like that. So if we do that... Now, I'm wondering, if we watch how long it takes for that reload, because obviously we are being helped, but we're not firing that as fast as I did in my last video, and we're just going to die now. So I'm wondering, as soon as I just died, if I get rid of those and take control of him again... No, the reload speed is the same. So it looks as if, when you use cheerleaders, the unit possession doesn't get affected by cheerleaders. Because that reload speed seems exactly the same. So that's interesting. Now, obviously, we're going to lose. We just lost. That's very interesting. I thought that using cheerleaders, I'd get to have some really awesome battles. You know? But... It, that doesn't seem to be the case, which is a bit of a shame, really. What else was really good with it? This was. We'll, we'll try this again, then. We'll do that. See, now that one does seem to be reloading faster. Maybe I just didn't have enough cheerleaders in. This is very confusing. We're going to lose again. That is so cool. Point blank range with it, though. Okay, so now we've got more cheerleaders in. Let's um, let's go back to the catapult, because we do like testing these things out. So, if I fire now... Hmm, it doesn't seem to... I don't know if that's faster or not. I think it might be a little bit faster, but not as fast as it was when I was doing the testing. When I was doing the testing, I was able to just keep going. Like, really, really, just it just kept firing. Whereas now, it's just not. Like, if I... I it's a good way of testing it. Now that i have Let's do it without controlling it. That'll be a good way of testing it. Okay, so it's not attacking that fast. Maybe they've... Uh, sort of... Dumbed down the cheerleaders. Yeah, you mu they must have done. Okay, well that's a bit of a shame. But, I think we're going to have to go with the king. Get rid of the cheerleaders. And go with the good old healers. And we're going to use the king to fight with. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, this way. Oh, look at my little followers. Hello, enemies. Goodbye, enemies. Oh, this is awesome. I'm just getting absolutely bundled up. But I can just keep swiping. Not really kidding as many as a full level. I think the AI is still actually better with the close range ones. I think if you're going to use unit possession, what you really want to do is just use the long range ones because you can aim better than they can. Come on. Am I going to win? My healers are all dead. And I died as well. No, I didn't. I won. Wait. How did I kill those two? They just sort of just dropped dead. That is really strange. This is really weird using this. Okay, so what I do want to try doing for our last battle is the tornado. Because I want to see if the cheerleaders do work. So we've got to use cheerleaders for a nice tornado. Let's go. Let's do it. How do I... Oh, there we go. We've got the tornado going. 
This is very hard to control though, but so awesome. You can't see anything, but this is awesome. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, I took my eyes off the screen. He's got a space bar attack as well, and I do not know what's going on. Should we go first person? It might be easier to control. It is. So first person is a lot easier to control. Oh, this is so weird. Oh my god. It... I'm sorry if you have epilepsy. This might be affecting you slightly. Because this is really messing with my eyes. This is horrible. It's just flickering everywhere. Is there anyone actually left alive? Oh yeah, there we go. We are carrying bodies around with us. Can we fly up with it then? No, we can't. You'd have to have two to be able to do that. What is going on? Where is he? Come here. Okay, this is really getting on my nerves. Oh, that was horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so horrible. It was fun. <laughs> I mean, you can't get much more fun than using the tornado in first person and being able to control it. But it was still absolutely horrible. That was so bad. But yeah, so that is unit possession. And I think it's absolutely awesome. There's loads more units to try, which I'm definitely going to be doing in future videos. I'm also going to check to see if they've put in any new hidden items to unlock other new units. That's definitely something I've got to do. But don't forget, if you do have any suggestions for me for battles that you want to see, put them down in the comments and we'll put them in a future video for you. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop that like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can keep up to date with all my future videos. Peace out.